Freddie McGregor, good afternoon. Greetings, sir, Lindsay. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Ah, Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. You, you know something? I spoke to you yesterday and I spoke to you the day before. Yeah. And I must admit, I must admit that the last time we spoke two weeks ago, you you sound much, much stronger yesterday than previously. What have you been doing to improve your health? Well, I've been doing therapy, but um, um, PT, physical mm -hmm. therapy, yeah. and occupational therapy. And those things have helped me tremendously. Nice. Now, they actually prepared me for the work that I'm doing now. Yeah. You know, and, 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 you, and uh, as I told you off the year, that I was one of those guys that did not agree with your decision to work. I, I told you, as a matter of fact, you came in. When did you come back from Jamaica? You came Sunday. In, Sunday. Mm -hmm. I called me first thing Monday morning. Say. <laughs> you understand that? But listen. I came to your birthday party. That was the 20, 28th of July? 27th. 27th of June. Of yeah. June. And I observe and I watch and I look and I listen. I was told of the plans that you and your, 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 your children have when you go on, on, on the road. And I listen and, Freddie, leaving your party, coming home, I took the stance that, nah, my brethren of my love for so many years is not ready to hit the road. Over the period of time, um, Hope and Lindo and I had a fist fight over the phone. Verbal, cussing on, because I'm telling him how I felt about the whole thing and he's telling yeah. me something else and I, I was just never going to hear it, never going to have it. I saw the footage of you in Japan wasn't too it wasn't too convincing for me say so, yeah that was okay but uh eh, me still don't believe same ready but when i saw the footage out of montego bay reggae some fest i was now convinced that um you know where you are though so explain to us why you have decided to go on the road and you already said to us that you know, you're doing your therapies and so on. Why did you well, decide to go so early? Well, I, I, I guess the first thing I can tell you is um, the lesson I've learned mm -hmm. is that having a stroke affects different people differently. And the one thing that, that was different for me is that I had lost my voice, which is the most important thing to me. Right, right. Because that is what I used to work. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was not going to lay down on my back and mourn about what I went through. And it's like the Lord, I said, get up, get, get the up, young man, and go do thy work. Go do my work. And that's the determination I have. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's, that's what I work with. Um, not just for myself, but for, for my fans. You, 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 you should see first time all the, the people in Japan responded to my presence, my being there. It's the same kind of response I saw at Reddit Sumpfest. People was happy for the fact that I made it there mm -hmm. to perform for them, and happy for the fact that I am recovering and that I was able to come. And I saw the same thing at Sumpfest. Um, it wasn't because of money or anything. It, it, it's as a result of my work, Right. Uh, and, and and interacting with my fans who love me dearly. Now, you, you mentioned, and I've heard all kind of scenarios and the reasons why you might be doing this. And you you said, you just said it, it's not the money. And I've heard people have suggested maybe, you know, say most likely is that maybe he wants to cover his medical bills I've heard no, people man, even suggest it. All of my med medical stuff is being covered. It's a lot, but it's being covered through my insurance. So people can say what they want to say. Mm -hmm. Them and me, me and me, 
me know what go on with me, me know my situation, and I think I know what's best for me. Right. Now, now, what are the suggestions still relating to the money issue is that promoters in, in, in New York and promoters in, in South Florida and even in Jamaica should come together and just do a big Freddy fundraiser. And no, when I heard no, that, I said, I, I, I don't no, think you I, will go I with that. No, I don't need that. All right. That, that's not something I, I, I thought of or have any plans for. Um, like I said to you a while ago, I'm not going to lay on my back and mourn about my past, my situation. I, I am going to be strong enough to get up and go out there and do what I need to do whenever I need to. And, and when you, when you and I spoke, yeah, even yesterday, you know, you said something to me that I still remember. You said, Cliney, Cliney, I wouldn't do anything to jeopardize my life or to hurt myself. No, I wouldn't. Why would I? You said that, and I'm like, Freddie, I take your word for it. You know what I'm doing. But you do understand my concern and thousands of other people concern when you know when you decided to go on the road mm -hmm. do, do do you understand our concern do you understand why we were concerned i do but do you understand the love the, the, the world of love we get from so many people for doing what we did yes yes because yeah. that is equally important and that's the reason we do it because of the love of the people right and, and with this kind of love you're getting now, is it, it's I I would assume it's more encouraging for you mentally, physically that you know you get this kind of love and this kind of encouragement. Yes, yes it is encouraging. Nice, nice. So you you know, you do, you're just ready to jump on the plane now ahead for um, your next stop would be London. Yes, the UK. How, how many shows you plan on doing in the in the in the UK? Not what we plan. We have seven shows in the UK. Seven. Myself and my kids, yes. And um, after these shows, mm -hmm. definitely we'll take a little break mm -hmm. and and just do certain events. So it's not like me at all. Me have a, a world tour coming up or right. anything like that. Right. 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 For, for for other people, and, and you know, we are at that age. I just saw this news uh, um, headline about LeBron son uh, fainting and having cardiac arrest. For young, for people, young or old, because you know the illnesses that's going around now, Freddie. You remember one time we have group, and you know, there's only old people that have this and old people mm -hmm. have that. What's sort other of advice? What have you learned from your experience that you can pass on to? To others, that we as a people, I'm gonna say we as a people, mm -hmm. our race, our people, we we, we we don't seem to like checking up on ourselves. And I can I use myself as an example. I was so caught up with working, and I, I, I never got a chance to take a break. And I, and I was I was needing my body's advice. Okay. I, I did not realize I had blood pressure issues until I went to see my doctor who told me what was happening with my pressure. And um, although I was taking my medication still, because no one knows when you, when you're going to get sick mm -hmm. or if you're ever going to get, get sick. sick. Right. So you just have to be careful and do what you have to do. And I think my pressure was, was, was what drove me to, to get a stroke. The pressure, so, your, your blood pressure, life's blood pressure. pressure. Your blood, blood pressure. pressure, okay. So, I just started taking my medication, and I never ignored that. Right. And I'm still taking my medication, and it, it has helped me a lot. You know, so we have to heal. Um, for example, most of us as young men, when I say young men, over 40, mm -hmm. we don't do colonoscopies, we don't do prostate checks and things. Wait until we have that problem, then we we start look about it. I've learned that we must take care of these things in advance. Right, 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 right. And your your health is your wealth. Your health is your wealth. Now, yes. now 
you 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 are a man and, and one one critics i've heard said that you are always fighting you fight you fight you fight for whatever you you believe in you fight for uh, yes i am a fighter you are a fighter we know that <laughs> we know you are a fighter you fought for dennis brown and i'm of fact you will fought for the tamika reggae awards you you yeah, remember man, i've done a lot of fighting you have and, and, during my time yes and i remember at your birthday party my toast to you was thank you for i don't know if you remember when you called me i may yes, have yes, I did. You, I did. <laughs> you remember i just said why well, are you me not involved in the tamika i said but freddie me not, you don't know, have no nomination you said no no you want to be involved i said what how can you be involved you said, even if you have to sing the national anthem. And I'm like, sing what? You said the national anthem. I said, which one? American, Jamaican? I, I mean, that has never been done before, Freddie. At, the, at that time. No. At that time. At that time. I have done yeah. thousands of shows. I've been to thousands of shows. And no Jamaican anthem. And I, I, I said, Freddie, I'll send you the ticket. Come on up to New York. And, let's, and you came. And even then, I still wasn't too sure that this thing was gonna go over. Um, when when I say, ladies and gentlemen, could you please stand for the singing of the Jamaican anthem? And you came out in your tux, and you started that. You could hear a pin drop in the Avery Fisher musical, Freddie. Yeah, that was a that was a really um, special evening and event. I, I still remember that event. And do you also realize that you have started a trend by doing what you did? Yes, because after that, a, a lot of people started to take that on. Yeah, you you started. So I want to publicly, again, say you as a trendsetter, you have you started something that no, you cannot go to a, a function today, Freddie. And they don't sing the Jamaican. <laughs> the Jamaican anthem or the American anthem. Yes. You started that. You you, you are such a fighter that even when your your best friend Dennis Brown dropped out and the the problem of him getting buried in Heroes Park or whatever, you were the first or only artist to step up and say this can go on. What drove you into that? Well, Dennis is my brother, you know me, and Dennis really tight. And, you know, I know what was happening at the time. And I was very instrumental in, in, in Dennis's funeral. And we wanted Dennis to be represented in a special way. And we thought he was, he was part, circle would have been the right place for Dennis to live. Right, right. Lay to rest. And we went over there and we saw people like Miss Aggie Bernard, saw Capo. We saw Ronnie Williams, a lot of influential people were there, and we thought Dennis Brown was qualified right. in that category to be buried over there. Right. And we made the request, and it was granted, and so we fought to have it done, and we finally got it done there. We've done to Lego, Lego Beast from Orange Street, and Lego championed the program. You know, we went up the Mullines Road and drove into a construction company, and we don't know anybody there, but we asked for the manager, and the manager came out. And we told him we were looking for a, a backhoe to dig, dig a grave. And mm -hmm. he asked if it's Dennis's grave, and we say yes. And he said, yeah, yeah, man, and he called two workers. And it was after work hours, and he called two workers and said, drive with Mr. Magwood up to Heroes Park and, and, and take care of this matter. Mm -hmm. And come back, and he asked, he asked us to drive one of us in front and one behind. Wow. And we did that and we got to US Park. And then um, there was a little discrepancy because we weren't sure we were in US Park um, to dig the grave. Right. So we thought Master Ronnie Williams as an entertainer mm -hmm. would be the ideal person for Dennis to be buried beside. Right. But we didn't know at the time that there were other plans for that spot. Oh, okay. Which, which it was already became, reserved. Which became, which became Miss Lou's spot. Ah. So, some members of government came over there, and when they heard that we were preparing Dennis's grave, and they were they were the ones who told us that 
that particular spot is reserved for Miss Lou. Lou. Right. Well, there was much argument in that because, you know, Miss Lou are master and all right, that go. Right, right. So we, we decided, yeah, maybe Dennis could go beside Miss Lou. Still in line with the entertainment. And that's what we did. And some soldiers from JDF was passing through there and south. And asked if we needed help, I would say yes, and they came and helped us. Nice, nice. To, to prepare Dennis's grave. And we had a, the service at the arena, and everything went well right. from there. Is it your belief that a, a special place, a plot somewhere, should be allocated or designated for the burial, the resting place of? of Outstanding individuals like you know, like Dennis. Yeah, outstanding so, individuals is correct because we don't want to say entertainers. Right. Because I don't think um, that space is, is is or should be reserved for just entertainers. entertainers per right, se. right. But you you use the correct word a while ago. Outstanding. Outstanding people. Yeah. And yes, I think so too. But that is that is up to the individuals' family. If and they right, if they would want. If, if they would want that. Yes, yes. Because I just noticed just just last year with Sly Dunbar, um, you know, the you got a... Shakespeare. Yes. Sorry, uh, Robbie Shakespeare. Sorry about that, Sly. Uh, Robbie Shakespeare. That he got a nice little spot up Strawberry Field somewhere there. Yeah, well, that was donated by Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell's place. I know Sly and Robbie was two senior musicians where Island Records is concerned. Yes. So that I can understand. Now, now, you know, we can't talk forever, but let's get to today. You, 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 this album came out, Freddie. A breath mm. of fresh air. Just a breath of fresh air. Literally yeah. speaking, <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air. First of all, before we even talk about this song, who came up with the, the, the title of this of this album? I, I came up with the title. We were just in the studio listening to the track one evening in London. And I, 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 I kind of said to Billy, my cousin and, and producer, I said, Billy, this sounds like a bit of fresh air. Mm. Referring to the song. Yes. And everybody just suddenly thought, this should be the album title. And it stuck from there. And we never changed it. I tell you, when you, when you talk about the right title at the right time, it is just a breath of fresh air. Um, Thank you, sir. These, are, these songs obviously were recorded before November 2022, when you, when you have your yes. incident. Um, yes. Were you... At the time, you were just recording or were you preparing to, to do no, an we album? were just recording tracks. We were just recording tracks with the hope of compiling enough tracks for an album. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I, I, I can't... This album takes me back to when you were doing the, the series, Freddie yeah, McGregor. Yeah, classic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know <laughs> Yes, because we carefully selected the songs that we wanted to do here. The, the, the difference with this album is we have cover songs, both local and foreign. Yes. And we have original materials on there too. I, I, I tell you, when I got the album and the first thing, the first song I, that hit me and hit me hard was... I'll Be Waiting. I'll Be Waiting. Well, that's an old standard by Alton, mm -hmm. and a song that people love and is familiar with. That's why we, we start the album with that track, actually. Yeah. Freddie. But there are other, other songs there that I've loved since I was wearing Afro, <laughs> and I was with a band called Generation Gap Band, like Let Me Down Easy. Let Me Down Easy, yes. And, and that Johnny Mattis, I'm Coming Home. Nice, nice those are, version. Those are songs I used to perform um, when I was with Generation Gap Band during those Afro and Belfort Pants days. And big Freddy, issues. Freddy, you, you yes, know, you, when you mention about Afro, you know, Bridget, you know, long you promised me you're going to send me a picture of Freddy pre-dreadlocks. You remember you, still, you promised me that? Yes, I'm trying to find the perfect picture to send you. I'm no. just searching... Searching through some stuff to come up, find the right picture. Nobody I've ever seen. Well, I, 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 I have never seen, and 
every time I ask people who been in the business for years and years, and I ask them, have you ever seen Freddie Willow um, before with dreadlocks? And I say, come to think of it. No, you know. I'll jog your memory uh -uh. for a little. What? There's a brethren who used to run a magazine called Swing Magazine. Swing Magazine in the 70s. His name is Johnny Golden. Yes. But Johnny has passed. He, he passed. He passed sure. away in 80 Opia. Yes. But Johnny would have a lot of those pictures in his catalog. Um, mm. uh, other than that would be um, what, Johnny Black mm. and others who was doing photography during those times. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But, but you would have but, your but, aunts and a couple but, of them, though. They are rare. They are rare. <laughs> Very. Uh, very rare, very rare. But, they, but, but some of them can be found I, 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 I have to be honest with you Freddie I'm listening to you now and just hearing you talk it brings joy to my heart because you know so like you know even at your birthday you sound real real like you're 99.999% there well I'm telling you I'm a fighter and I, I refuse to make these things get me down not gonna lay on my back and moan about what happened. Right. I'm going to get up, brush myself off, and move forward. Nice, nice. This is what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I tell you, the, the comments that are coming in are just, you know, yes, Freddie, keep fighting, Freddie, we love you, Freddie, and so on and so on. Yeah, how man, how does it make you feel? Um, very good, very strong, very positive. Nice. It's, it's giving me courage to push on. It is telling me that I'm doing the right thing. Right. And that is most important. Nice, nice. And I want to thank all the people who've been praying for me and have been wishing me well wishes. Mm -hmm. I thank you. I love you. And I receive those blessings. Yes. And they certainly helped me to pull through to this far. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, it, when you speak and you say you are good and you know you're working on it i don't think anybody out there can say otherwise because you are the subject you are the one feeling how you feel yeah i know how i feel yes, yeah sir. we all can just speculate and all of that but you are the one and if it's coming from you it's good enough for me yes thank you yeah if, if you say so freddie the respect and love I have for you, and not just me, but millions of people around the world. If you say so, we are taking it as gospel. Well, Freddie knows he's feeling better. Let's move on. And your your yeah. next step, or your next stop is in England. Where are some of the places you'll be stopping in England? Well, on Saturday, the 5th of August, mm -hmm. we have a festival called Reggae Land in Milton Keynes. Just outside of London. Okay. And on the 6th, which is a Sunday, mm -hmm. we have a, an event at the Jazz Cafe in Camden Town, which is a real popular venue that a lot of major artists have performed, oh, including right. myself. Right, 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 right. But we're looking forward to that. I think the first day the year is sold out. It's not I'm the ready. biggest venue in London, but nice. it's a it's an important venue. Nice. So that first date on the 6th is already sold out. And another date has been added on the 8th, which is Tuesday. And I think that's almost sold out. So we're looking forward to those. Nice, And nice. then on the 10th, we have a concert in Bristol. And on the 11th, we are in Manchester. The 12th, we are in Bristol. And on the 13th, we have a big one at a place called the Electric in Brixton. And, and and that wraps up our UK run. To me, yeah, it sounds like you, you, you're quite yeah. booked and solid and ready to go, brethren. Yeah, man. We, 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 we head back to the U.S. on the 14th of August. And any dates in the U.S. as yet? Not just yet. No, we're taking a look and organize what we're doing going forward. We're doing a lot of dates. Okay. We're exclusive dates. Right, right, right. Freddie McGregor, I am so happy that you're back. Yes, sir. Thank you. You you are back. And the album, I would just encourage everyone to get a copy. It's already number one in South Florida and climbing up the New York album chart. And I'll be waiting. It's just a fantastic 
cover of the classic from Alton Ellis. Yes, I love that song. Right, right. All right, Freddie, go get some rest. And when yes. I when 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 you say you're leaving for for England, what date? We leave on the fourth of August. The fourth. Arrive of... on the morning of the fifth. Okay. Yes. All right, Bridget. Get some rest in the meantime, and uh, we'll, I, we'll do. We'll stay in touch before. Oh, by the way, I did premiere the song "Find a Girl Without a Name." Did you get? Uh -huh. did, you told me you you'll give me a name later. Yes. Uh, um. I said Chino and, and Stephen McGregor. Yeah. That's good enough? Yes, sir. All right. Freddie, yes. much, much blessing and much love to you, yeah? Yeah, yeah man, give thanks. Give all right. thanks, sir, uh, time. All right. And to all, all, all our listeners out there, thank you very much for your strength and support. We love you dearly. And that's the reason we're doing what we're doing. Nice. For you. Nice. Ready, we'll talk later. Yes, God bless you. Right. And Lindsay, a promoter. Bring up the biggest set of artists from Jamaica. Like Super Cat and Mr. Early B, the doctor. Only for artists, no pandemic can remember. Who can remember when they used to keep Jamaica? The kind of show that used to give out of our water. To reggae artists.